Mr. 
I mean, that may be true, but mine, I mean, I know the MOU. Thank you. 
you so much. I appreciate your understanding. America, how big is here? Oh, what a bonus. That's all we hope. Dad, I'm going to show you. Hey, my dear, I'm going to show you. No, you have to. Photo first? No. Photo first. Photo first. Let's okay. change the page.
Ambassador Agnes, tell us what is happening here in New York, especially in the headquarters, here, UN headquarters. Uh, on behalf of the government of transitional unity, uh, the Republic of South Sudan uh, delegation led by His Excellency the First Vice President General Taban Dengai has arrived in New York yesterday the 23rd and today had the pleasure to participate in the high-level meeting for Nelson Mandela Peace Summit which is ongoing now and also His Excellency and the accompanied delegation met with His Excellency uh, uh, Musa Feki, the chairperson of the African uh, Union. So we are delighted to be here at the World Center. Uh, and South Sudan is present uh, to undertake uh, side events, multilateral meetings and bilateral meetings as well. When will South Sudan be having a speech? especially the government delegation. His Excellency, the first Vice President, will be addressing uh, the plenary on the 28th of September, and he will be the third to speak that morning. Okay. Uh, what have you learned so far about this opening and uh, the celebration of the peace, uh, especially dedicated to the President Nelson, the late President Nelson Mandela? Uh, it is a great uh, recognition for African leader and also world leader. Uh, Nelson Mandela has done a lot in line of world peace. So we, the Republic of South Sudan, led by His Excellency the First Vice President, were delighted to be here. And His Excellency made sure that he attends uh, today's session commemorating uh, Nelson Mandela 100th year's birthday. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah. SSBC uh, viewers, uh, we just finished a meeting with uh, His Excellency Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the uh, United Nations. Uh, of course, in this uh, session uh, of the UN General Assembly, our uh, main point of discussing with our partners and uh, with the Secretary General today is about how to support the people of South Sudan in the process of implementation of the peace agreement. Uh, we discussed with the Secretary General. He's very positive. He assured us of uh, his support. He even uh, declared his interest that if he's invited to the would-be celebration, which is being organized by His Excellency, President Salva Kiir Mayardi in Juba, uh, the celebration for the signing of the agreement, uh, that the Secretary General is willing to, to attend if his schedule is going to allow him. Uh, so he's very enthusiastic, enthusiastic and uh, he's going to support the people of South Sudan in the process of uh, the peace implementation. We have uh, asked him to help us uh, encouraging the partners, especially the Troika and the other developmental partners to the Republic of South Sudan uh, so that they come on board and support the peace implementation in the Republic of South Sudan. Uh, it is uh, my chance to appeal to the people of South Sudan uh, that this time uh, let there be peace uh, in our country, let us work together, let us reconcile and I'm encouraging also the political leaders uh, in the opposition that they should uh, respond positively to the call of the president for them to visit uh, Juba. I've been also in touch with some of them and uh, many of them are willing to visit Juba within the pre-interim period of the eight months. Uh, let us work together so that we move our country forward, uh, so that we prove to the world that uh, South Sudanese are capable of uh, reconciling and uh, bearing their differences and open a new page. Uh, once again, uh, the world is with you, and uh, uh, let us uh, work hard, let us cooperate among ourselves, let us work with the president, and uh, so that we may realize peace in the Republic of South Sudan.